How are you doing, Harrison? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on, Rich. Oh, always. Really appreciate it. What were you able to to uh, see out of Garoppolo that you were able to exploit that other defenses have had trouble doing, Harrison? You know, it always starts with, with our guys up front, with our pass rush, and they, uh, you know, they make things a little easier for us on the back end when they're getting pressure and, and getting the quarterback kind of off the spot and getting him uncomfortable. So, you know, that's where we start, and then we just try to cover on the back end and uh, take – take advantage of the opportunities when they arise. That's very Belichickian. So just do your job is basically what you're saying right there. Yeah. I mean, pretty much, you know, we, um, you know, we, we play with a lot of passion and we study throughout the week and, and just lay it all on the line on Sundays. But, you know, as a defensive back, you know, when we get, when we get an interception or something and people get all excited, I always like to look at the D line because they normally affected that play more than people realize. And there is an I in Harrison and Smith for you to say something like that. It's, <laughs> it's a very team mentality right there. So let me ask you this, Harrison Smith. Who do you think you see under center in Lambeau Field on Sunday, Aaron Rodgers or Deshaun Kaiser? Um, I mean, I, I, I watched the game uh, Sunday night and, and uh, saw, you know, obviously Rodgers came back and, you know, led him to an – an amazing comeback. Um, so, you know, he's, he's capable of, of doing incredible things on the field. So I wouldn't be surprised to see him out there. Uh, so we just got to get ready for, for both, I guess. I guess so. But so you're, you're expecting to see 12 when it's all said and done. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, he came back in that game. So that's, that's what I would expect. I, I mean, we'll see what, you know, we haven't really been able to get our meetings in yet uh, until tomorrow. So, We'll see what the coaches are thinking. Well, what does this game mean, week two? You know, uh, I, hate, I hate to sound Belichickian again, but, uh, you know, it's the next game, so it's the biggest you game. You are but, not allowed to do um, one game at a time with me, Harrison Smith. You I mean, are, that's that's literally all you can do. You can't do more than one game at a time. But it's not just but, any um, game. I mean, this is Aaron Rodgers. This is the Packers. This is the Vikings. This is the NFC North. Hold on a minute. Let me, let me continue setting this up. This is, this is the guy that Anthony Barr knocked forward. out. I'm telling you. This there it is, is. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that that storyline will will get a lot of hype, you know, especially with the new rule changes and everything. Um, you know, it is the division games, no matter who it is, you know, they they are big, especially when it comes down to the end of the season and uh, people are positioned for playoffs. So, you know, we we understand that. We also understand, you know, the pride that the Vikings fans have, um, you know, with this kind of border battle. Uh, so we we understand that and 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 you know ramp it up but it's not uh you know it's not make or break right now but um we will definitely you know try to bring our a game do you mention that rule that you mentioned about not allowing to put your body weight on a quarterback when you sack him do you ever talk about that with anthony barr in the locker room uh no we don't i mean we we honestly we do talk about trying like how to play within the rules a lot um just because it's hard to always sack a quarterback and then slide to the side of him it's just it, it's hard to do in real time so we talk about those things but um you know i think he he took a lot of heat on on social media and stuff last year from <laughs> from people so it's more of a joke than anything for us so what are those conversations like when you're a defender talking with your coaches or amongst your your colleagues about the rules about lowering your head about moving your body to the side about doing all this and trying yet to play as instinctively as you possibly can because that's in many ways, what got you to this position to play in the National Football League, Harrison Smith? Yeah, I think, um, you know, uh, normally these conversations start with defensive players kind of complaining and saying how hard it is and stuff, but that, that doesn't help us to complain about it. Like, they made the rule, so now we have to figure out how to play within it. Um, so we, we talk about just, you know, lowering, kind of lowering your target uh, instead of launching and aiming, you know, just kind of recklessly. Uh, consciously thinking about when you're making a break, about already lowering that target, uh, keeping your head up, wrapping up. As long as you're trying to do those things, you know, maybe an accident here, here or there happens. That's, that's the nature of the game. But if, if you're trying to do them, that's, that's, you know, if you have that intent beforehand, it, it normally translate, hmm. translates to, um, you know, cleaner tackles within the rules of the game today. 
Viking safety, Pro Bowl safety, Harrison Smith. A couple more minutes left with him here on the Rich Eisen Show. Last night, Monday Night Football, Darren Lee of the Jets picked off Matthew Stafford twice. The Jets really laid it on uh, your NFC North colleagues in the Honolulu Blue. He said after the game that the Jets knew the hand signals and knew what players were being called before the snap. Is that something that makes sense to you? Yeah, I saw that report. Um, you know, every now and then you'll maybe see a hand signal or something, but to know, I think to know every play that's coming beforehand, I think that's probably probably a little overblown. I don't know. I'm not sitting in those meetings, but, you know, you try to watch as much film as you can and, and pick up on formations and down the distances. And then um, sometimes, you know, you're prepared and they run exactly what you think. And then other times they run uh, things you've never seen before, seen before, um, you know, cause, cause everyone's good in this league, the players, the coaches and everyone adapts. So, um, you know, if, if that's what he says, if, that's great. Um, you know, normally I think it's a little harder than that. Yeah. I was about to say, well, I mean, you play the lines twice though. I mean, so it's not just watching film. It's, it's a team that you, you know, better than most, is that is that something you've been able to pick up just a hand signal and you see it and you know what's coming Harrison uh, specifically with the lions yes sir no i i mean i, I can't i can't second that um just cuz you know maybe maybe i'm not as good at studying film i don't know but <laughs> um <laughs> well, yeah I, you know if they did that's awesome I'm, i hope we can do the same <laughs> well what can you pick up in film Seriously, like walk me through that a little bit. It kind of depends on how they're kind of spliced up. You know, sometimes you can see see a, a little bit pre-snap stuff. Sometimes you can't. Um, you know, normally, just like just like they watch our film. You know, kind of what are our favorite things that we do? We try to try to do that with them, and um, you know, personnel groupings and downs and distances and scenarios of the game. Uh, you just try to kind of. Sim, sim, simulate those things in your mind and, and the scenarios you could be faced with once the game comes around. Well, we've gone this long, and I haven't even mentioned the name Kirk Cousins, so I might as well do it here. The the, the notion outside of your uh, stadium locker room is that uh, same team, essentially, a uh, couple more improvements. Kirk Cousins in here, just roll the footballs out. You guys have a Super Bowl team. How do you respond to that? That I uh, I think Zim would be pretty upset with me if I if I agreed with uh, rolling the footballs out. He actually says that term a lot about how Does we he can't really? just show up and roll the footballs out. Yeah, um, you know if he thinks we're getting a little lackadaisical or something. So we um, you know we definitely don't have that that feeling in the locker room or in the building. And no matter who's on our team or how much hype we're getting outside the building. You know, that's stuff that that we don't let affect us. We just focus on inside the building, what we're doing, um, you know, making plays when they when they arise, and that's offense, defense, special teams, and and Kirk has come in and and you know already made a tremendous a tremendous impact for our offense, but also for our defense. Working against them in practice has been awesome, and and it's helped us out a lot. How so? Just because he's he's such a good player, and he's he's very uh, quick to learn about the things that we're doing and how we're trying to attack him. So he tries. You know, to counter that, uh, so it just keeps us honest and and really gives us good competition throughout the week. All right, tell me about the big tackles campaign that uh, you're doing for a third season in a row, Harrison Smith. Yeah, big brothers, big sisters in Twin Cities. Uh, you know, try to raise money for them uh, for mentorship for the youth here, and uh, you know, I donate for every tackle that I make, and then if you want to match it, uh, www.bigtackles.org. Uh, you know. Help me out. Help big brothers, big sisters out. It's a great organization, so uh, doing good things. Last year, you raised over $41,000. You can go also to pledgeit.org slash Harrison Smith 2018 to, to get on board with all this. Uh, Harrison, normally I like to talk college football with my NFL guests, but we're out of time. Try to say. <laughs> Fair enough. I think I know why. Well, no, no. I mean, do you, I'm just. I'm honestly. I mean, we just only have mere seconds left. I mean, it's really. <laughs> it's real. I mean, are you are you accusing me of trying year. to dodge something? Is that what you're yeah, accusing? There's always next year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Does that mean you're not calling back into my show before next year? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, I'm just saying when you want to talk about college football, maybe. Oh. It'll be a little better for you come come this time next year. Okay, you know Tyler Eifert said he was going to send me gear because I bet him 
uh, on this uh, contest. Um, he said he was going to send me gear because I have to wear gear on my uh, Twitter avatar mm. for just, what, one day? Is that what it was? For just a single day? Maybe. I think that's what it was. He has yet to do it, Harrison. So, I don't know What size are you? Um, what, um, for, my, for, my, for my hat size you're talking about? Hat size, shirt size. Okay. Let's get a whole outfit here. Oh, I, I don't know if I agreed to do that. <laughs> like, don't send me Zubas. I mean, um, oh, oh God, wow. they're, they're putting me up in a Ohio State gear that I had to wear over a, a couple years, years ago. ago. Damn near every year. Yeah, on my hat size, I, I mean, I'm a size large in shirt. Hat size, I don't know, but I'm an on-air uh, host, so it's probably large, you know? Okay, sounds Ex- good. Extra large. Good to chat with you, Harrison. We'll chat with you soon. Thanks for having me on. Always. Sounds good. You bet. BigTackles.org for Harrison Smith, who's at Harry, H-A-R-R-I, Smith22 on Twitter. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.